Awesome. Okay, so to get sort of grounded, it would be great if you could just share a little bit about you and your role as well as the business um, that you work in. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm the operations manager for Sandy Paws Animal Hospital, and we are located in Orange Park, Florida. We have been successful since our opening because we bought an already established business. So we've just been growing from there and we've been growing exponentially. So we're very, very thankful for that. As of late, we have brought on um, a part-time vet and then possibly another part-time vet and possibly now a full-time vet. So we're excited about that. We're moving um, into a much larger building. So we're moving from three exams rooms to 10. And we are constantly adding services that add to the value for our community and for our patients. And so that's basically us. We like, you know, of course, most vet clinics that are small and self-owned. Uh, we are community-based and we are family-oriented. Absolutely. Um, through and through, because you guys are sisters, which makes that even better. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, so what would have been your main concern that would have prevented you from joining Beyond Just You? You know, you guys came on board at the exact time that we needed you most. So I don't think that anything would have prevented us from saying yes. It was a really quick yes for us. Oh, we really, awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was so amazing how, how the timing has gone over the last year with you guys and how much you've contributed to our success. And we're very thankful. That is awesome. So when you think about beyond just you, what did you find as a result specifically with this vet tech role? Because I remember speaking with you and Michelle about how critical that was to the continued success with how busy you guys have been. So um, yes, I think I did about 30 interviews total hiring. Well, we we extended probably five offers and we ended up hiring, I believe, three in the end. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. And it was just endless amounts of, I mean, even though I did 30 interviews, we probably had, probably had 50 people that, you know, were interested. Wow. Um, but yeah, we, we, we um, were able to fill a smaller role of someone that didn't have as much experience. And then as you know, we wanted more experience. So then we cut it down and you guys were able to, to do that for us. And it got really targeted and it just, it just went from there. So all of it was very successful for us. That's awesome. So I know you mentioned the timing was kind of perfect with how beyond just you came about. Were you guys already in the process of recruiting for the vet tech or had you just determined that you had that need in your business? No, we had, we're, we had been recruiting for a while and it seemed like, you know, the avenues that we were taking, were taking, sorry, did not work as well anymore. We had gotten some, some good um, input from them in the past. So we reutilized them and then it just didn't pan out. Uh, so I felt like the social media approach was way more, um, I think, all, all powerful because a lot of people go on there. So it just reached so many more people. I was, I'm telling you, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. That is so awesome. It makes us, we love celebrating wins. So we've been really excited for you guys with, with all of that. So, so yeah. were you guys, have you previously worked with a traditional recruiter or headhunter or were you guys doing everything homegrown in your business? All on our own, all on our own. I'm more of an advocate now for reaching out to the, to the professionals. Um, we're lucky that we were able to, that we could come up with the funds to do it. Um, because it is really important. And I believe in the beginning you were stating that this is an investment in your future that has to continue because it's always something that we need. We're growing or things are changing. There's turnover mm -hmm. in the, in the profession. People move on and we totally support that. People want to come in and learn. We support that too. We just, we just want people to be successful in their lives. And I, and I feel that our, our staff and previous staff really does feel that way about us. So 
That's awesome. And that's how we feel as well. I mean, it's important that people, that the opportunity to connect somebody who's searching for a career and an opportunity to learn and grow with a business that fits that is one of the best things ever. So it's exciting that your staff really values the opportunity in your business, but then that you're able to add to to that culture and to that team. So that's awesome. What would you say when you think about the Beyond Just You program and our approach to helping you find leads? What aspect did you like the best about working with us? Oh, man. Well, you guys are very supportive on the back end. You helped me through the uh, implementation process, which went really, I felt very easily. Um, I know not everybody is as tech savvy as the other person. So when people reached out to you, you're very welcoming and open. So getting it set up appropriately, that was awesome because then after that happened, it was just answering messages. And so <laughs> you made it really easy. And yes, it is busy. I don't want people to not to to get that it's it's going to be oh easy peasy and you have to put the work into it. So you do need to reply to the messages, make notes, make sure you follow up. Um, if you're working with a team, make sure you have that team in place and implemented within your organization so that you don't forget anybody. Because even though a person may not be the applicant of choice today, they may be your applicant of choice tomorrow. Exactly. A no today doesn't equate to a no tomorrow or a week from now, a month from now. Exactly. So that's awesome. (laughs) <laughs> so what would you say, um, thinking through the program, and you mentioned talking about the implementation and the technology, but what do you think are the two biggest benefits of BJU in our program? I think that um, the basics of just being able to monitor your business in different ways and um, connecting with people on a consistent basis and just being out there, knowing what's going on, even in your news feeds and things like that, you know, that you opened up that world to us and allowed us to make our small world so much bigger. And messages that you put out there, they really do get seen by people. They really do um, get people's minds going. And then it, that also enables you to grow as a person. And I feel like, people will reach out to you. They, they might be looking for you. So that was one thing. And then um, I think it brought a lot of positivity to our staff because they realized that we were out there working for them and that we were, it was obvious the success that we were having and we were bringing lots of people through for walkthrough interviews and things like that. And they were hearing a lot. So I think that that brought the pressure off of them, especially during the the COVID times that we're still unfortunately having, but the fact that we are out there looking and searching and we are are doing our best to to take pressure off them. Yeah, absolutely. It was a very um, unprecedented, I think none of us could have predicted this summer that we've no. all been living. And then to add to the, the already hectic world that you guys are readjusting to with your business, now you're also incorporating bringing in new people to interview and to to find people that fit your business. It's been a, it's, I'm sure a relief to your current staff to know that you guys are trying to alleviate some of that pressure for sure. Yes. So building on that, what would you say have been some of the changes that you've experienced with your recruiting and hiring process um, from joining BJU? Yeah. So we, we were just leaving it up to our poor office manager who was definitely (laughs) overworked as it is. Oh, that's my cat. Um, I only have four of them. Anyway, (laughs) I have four cats and three dogs and five fish, but anyway, (laughs) that's awesome. But anyway, (laughs) uh, we were leaving it up to our office manager. And I just think that sometimes they get dumped on a lot. And I'm always telling her that, oh my goodness, just, just let us know if you need help. So when I started this process, I had no idea how successful it was going to be. And then we quickly, because the girls that I work with are just, they're so fantastic. So we have a personnel manager, we have an office manager, and then we have me. Mm -hmm. So the three of us just kind of put our heads together and we figured out a way to, to implement a process that was going to work for everybody. And again, not forgetting anybody on the back end so that, you know, we can keep people for future positions that open up. 
but it was great. It was, it was a lot, but it helped us get a process for better interviewing people and better communication and things like that. So now we have a very streamlined process and we can get people uh, through our process very quickly. That's, that's huge. I mean, having a, a process that you all are clear about is a big win for sure. Did you feel like this impacted your time to fill the role in any way? You mean taking more of my time? No, uh, your time. Less into the time. The positions open time. So do you feel like you were able to hire faster than you had previously for the role? Yeah, we did. And we had a bigger pool to choose from so we could be pickier. And so um, sometimes when you have five positions open or whatever, that's a lot. Um, you You kind of maybe just settle for mm -hmm. the small pool that you're choosing from, but we didn't have to. We really, you know, through the phone interviews was, I, I pretty much phone interviewed anybody that had any experience as a vet tech at all. And so I, I really, we, we really got a, a feel for what was out there. And then um, just the experience of doing that many phone interviews was just, I think, just priceless for me. I learned a lot. Yeah, the feeling of you're not going to have a lot of quality talent to pull from and feeling like you just have to settle, to change that to feeling like, wow, I have quality people to choose from and not just one, I have multiple, that's a big deal. So that's awesome. Yeah, I was, I was very happy with that. That's awesome. <laughs> what about on the flip side? What did you find to be the biggest struggle with implementing our program in your business? Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, I don't know. The only thing that I really struggled with was the Wednesday night calls because Wednesdays are like 16 hour days for me. So I didn't get to as many of them as I would have. So I guess the struggle was more me than anybody else. <laughs> I think well, we're really busy clinics. So I guess I can't speak for our managers. They're really busy anyway. So it was, it was a lot for them, but it was a good, it was a good busy, you know, okay. because but for me, I felt like, oh, I really, I need to do this. And then the one night that I applied online and said I was going to be there, I, I, I didn't even get home. And I was like, ah. so that was no bueno. But I, I tried my best. I think that was, it was just more of an inner struggle than anything because I wanted to like do it all. And I think you shouldn't expect that. You should do which is what in the realm of, of possibility for yourself. Absolutely. So. Did you feel even so to your point, you, you couldn't make the Wednesday evening calls like you had wanted to, did you still feel supported through that yeah. process though? Okay. Yeah. I went on and read a lot of, a lot of items and I guess the best thing for me is I, I just felt like I wasn't alone and I felt like my struggle was shared with so many other people. And the fact that there were, um, operations managers, office managers, um, and veterinarians on there, I didn't feel like I was you know, out of the loop as far as not being a veterinarian myself, because I tried to take as much pressure off Michelle as possible and my sister. So she can be a doctor and run her practice the best way she knows how, which is by being the doctor and being there and doing these patients and seeing our patients. But, you know, um, I really was thankful for that variety of people that were out there and reading their messages and reading their struggles. It just, it put a lot of items in perspective for me and didn't make things seem so overwhelming. That's awesome. So that, yeah. It was really supportive. That's awesome. And that's the, the community, right? You talk about you guys get to serve the community and the culture that you've built within your own teams. And we want to be an extension of that. Um, yeah. It's important to us that you feel like you have a safe space to go to, to commiserate with challenges that you're facing, to ask questions. So that's really great that even though you couldn't come on Wednesdays, which we loved it when you did, um, that you still felt like you were supported. So I, I did. I did. And I, awesome. I enjoyed hearing everybody's processes and the fact that they struggled with the same things that I did. And I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> not, oh, good that they struggled, but I'm like, oh, I'm not such a dork. <laughs> you're not alone. It's always yeah. good to know that you're not alone for sure. Yeah. What would you say was sort of your biggest aha moment from this whole experience of working with the team, but implementing the program as well? 
I guess the probably the size and of the community that is out there and the fact that they really want to connect with other people. I was just, wow, I was blown away because I have made so many contacts now and there are so many things that we are going to be implementing in the future of our growth and in our new clinic. And it's, it's really an endless pool of people that you can meet out there. And that was, that was really, really nice, really refreshing. So when you kind of step back and reflect on the whole thing, would you recommend BJU to other small business owners? I, uh, yes, absolutely. I, it, I, I think that it would almost be foolish for them if they had the opportunity to not at least give it a try. And I think that, I think we do all need to learn to concentrate on our roles and figure out what our, um, our limits are. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like a doctor that, you know, gets to the point where they're like, I can't do any more for this patient. I'm going to refer them out. And so that was like the same for me with the management. Like I need help with this because I don't really even know where to start. And I don't, I don't know how, you know, to proceed with the amount that we needed and in the time frame that we needed. So that's where it was just, it's, I think it's invaluable. That's awesome. So what would you tell somebody that might um, be sitting on the sidelines, feeling a little unsure about whether or not they should take the leap and join BJU that's in a similar position to you? They have a lot of hiring needs and a lot going on. What would you tell that person? Yeah, I'd say um, you, you can't miss an opportunity like that to be able to build your team and get the pool of people that are experienced and can contribute to the success more quickly. I mean, you would, may not have to train people as much and you can get into moving forward into your future a lot faster. It'll, it just accelerates so many different areas of your, of your team building. 